What is going down my YouTube family? It is your boy Zary and we are back for Pandas part two. And what we're gonna do in this video today is we are going to talk a little bit about the Kin Lee led team. As I said, there's two teams. There's like a burn team with a lake lead and then a panda team that is more defensible, I believe. And that is a Kin Lee Patriarchy, Shaolin, Master Duo, and Rin the Unseen. And well, where we're going to start is we're going to quickly go over what makes this click, what we can do to improve the team, going to rune them together so you can kind of see how my mind works, and then we will take them in to do a couple battles here, and we will go from there. Now I'm not putting artifacts on them because artifacts just like runes but they're a little more rng dependent you might not be able to get them up there so runes you're going to follow the same or artifacts you're going to follow the same steps as runes and that's how we're going to do it so let's jump into the kin lee led revamped panda team What is going down everybody it is your boy zary and before we get into the video i just want to remind everybody if you're under level 15 and you want ten dollars worth of free stuff go to your settings go to use promo code and type in xmg gifts you do that you'll get ten dollars worth of free stuff it helps support the channel so if you're under level 15 make sure you're using that promo code xmg gift enjoy the video now this this now this panda team has two leads it has a patriarch chi lead and then it has a kin lead lead and the kin lead lead right now until the pandas actually get a healer is far more superior in my opinion to that of the patriarch chi lead and to understand how to ruin these characters we need to look at the lead itself right so the lead itself is all allied pandas gain 30% of their maximum health. Pandas recover 5% health for each critical hit dealt and each buff applied. Pandas with full health recover 5% turn meter instead. So we're getting max health. That's a plus. Pandas recover 5% health for each critical hit dealt and each buff applied. So caveat to being in this team is you have to apply buffs right critical hits even on a tank is going to be important and health over shield is going to be important so when we look at what some basic rune options for this team is we are looking for health obviously we are looking for crit chance we are looking for anything survivability because what what's going to happen is this team is kind of squishy but it's a very good defensive team because of the turn meter recovery and the health recovery so what what we got to remember is pandas recover five percent health for each critical hit dealt and each buff applied so that's pandas okay keep that in mind as we go and what we're going to do is we're going to start right with kin lee all right so his passive ability he recovers health so we're seeing that health caveat for kin lee we are seeing removes two debuffs gains taunt armor increase recovers 25 percent of his health okay so health on kin lee is going to be vital this does absolutely nothing except give an armor increase damage fine we can look for that in secondary stats and the blade of fury is physical damage but if kin lee has more health than the target he does more damage so for kin lee and these runes are runes i messed around with and they're not what we're going to keep so kin lee we're looking for health crit damage speed is not as important for kin lee you're gonna want him you don't want him so slow like salvador slow because you gotta have him get that taunt up because you could get lapped by the other team so you want some speed but health crit chance damage anything survivability sprinkle in some speed that's what we're looking for here so if we jump into the runes they're saying armor tenacity and health fine but 
What this recommendation doesn't take into account is leadership. What is the leadership doing? You want to build a team around a leadership that leadership can be unbelievably important. If you ruin a character wrong, it could hurt you. Underneath that leadership, you can do more harm than good. So we are going to go into here and we're going to start with the top rune damage. We're going to have to have damage, but he requires damage. So we're looking for health, crit chance, survivability, sprinkle in some speed, and damage. We might end up keeping some of these runes. I'm going to continue. I think I'm going to put, because I don't want him to get stunned right off the bat. So I think I'm going to put two health sets on him with a tenacity set. And we're going to go from there. So let's go into our filters here. And we go to tenacity and health. Right there. This one I think is really good for us. We're getting a little bit of that crit chance. We're speeding him up a little bit. Putting some health on him. Getting him some damage. So we're going to go ahead and add that one. Now here I have health. I, I, I feel health is probably the best thing to put here. Now you could put a speed and then not worry about speed in secondaries but he you want to build that health up as much as possible for him to recover he's recovering health all the time i i'm kind of liking this one quite a bit we don't have the extra we don't have damage on there we don't have crit chance but we're hitting health twice with speed of seven that's nice we're gonna go with that one here, armor, there's nothing we can do about it. This one here isn't bad either. We're getting a little bit of speed, some crit chance, and some damage. No health on there, but I think that could be the winner. Yeah, let's put it on there. Now, I went with health. We're going to go with health again down here, but I think we got a winner here. Bumping up some damage. Yeah. All right. So, we want a health primary here. Um, for sure. I think this is the winner right here. So we're going to pop that on. So now we have our two tenacities. And I have health here. You could go tenacity or health since we're kind of building some tenacity in there. So I th we gave him the tenacity rune set. That gives him 15% extra tenacity. So let's see what we get. That would be our winner right there. So we're going to confirm that. Now, physical damage, we got over 3,000 for a defender. That's pretty good. Crit chance, 29.26%. But you got to keep in mind, there's going to be some buffs to crit chance in there. Health, 49,000. Almost 50,000, but then from his leadership, he's going to get another 30% on top of that. His physical armor's at 42%. Magic armor's at 36%. Shield... 34,000 so that's pretty good we got a speed to 136 i'm happy with that tenacity over 50 percent so basically i'm not going to go through like each individual character i might just put in when i find the rune that i like the best but that is how i do it i go through and i talk it out to myself a lot of talking to yourself when you're rerunning so that is kin lee now you got to keep in mind with kin lee he can get a crit to restore his health and then when he taunts, he's recovering himself at the start of the turn. And then when he taunts, he's giving himself taunt and armor increase. So there's two buffs, 10% coming back to him on top of the 25% he's already gaining. So keep that in mind. Next person we're going to talk about is Master Duo, right? Master Duo, his passive really doesn't inflict much. Increases accuracy, so he's going to get a lot of accuracy. He gives himself, gains crit chance, crit damage, and counterattack, and then recovers health. So we're seeing that health again. So health's going to be important. It's physical damage to all enemies. If all enemies receive damage, he gains a damage increase. So he's going to bump up his own damage. And then we see, you know, and he gives himself a damage increase. He's already giving himself accuracy from his passive. So that's going to help us out to make sure we're landing all those. And then deals 250 if this target is inflicted by slow reduces turn meter so potency health potency with him and damage 
it's kind of what we want. He is not going to be our heaviest damage dealer. He's more of a support character. So there's some ways we could ruin him here. And they're saying we should go all potency set. That's fine if you're running him for raids. An all potency set on this guy, for one, we, we don't want to give up that much damage, right? We want that slow to stick and we want his potency to be high. It's pretty low. So you could go with the damage potency like I have here, or you could go two sets of potency and crit chance. You could go two crit chance and some potency. So I think we're going to go two potencies and some crit because we want to slow down the other team. He's going to do more damage and reduce turn meter. Fine. So we're going to go two potencies and a crit chance to, to bump up that crit chance for him to heal himself. We're going to be looking for speed, damage, health, crit chance, potency, right? So that's what we're going to be looking for. So when I come into here, I'm going to filter this to we are going to put potency and crit chance, right? And off we go and I'll come back with the one I want. Okay, so this is the rune I found. It's the Northern, it's got the damage primary, 3.4%. We got some health in there. Tenacity, I'm okay with. I really wish that speed or crit chance hit again. There was one other one in here that I really was debating between. And where did it go? Oh, anyways. This one here. Damage, we had armor, shield, potency, and speed of four. So, he's a slow character to begin with. So, it is what it is there. The potency hit was really nice at 2.45%. Better than that tenacity hit. So, actually, I think I'm going to go here because we are going to put a crit chance set on him. So, I'm okay with that. We're going to be looking for speed. Same thing. I'll be back. All right, so here we go. We've got the speed. We're getting health 1.07%. We're getting a flat health of 179. We're getting 2.72% potency and a little flat damage in there. So we are going to select this one. We have the armor primary here. So we're looking for potency, crit chance, health, speed, blah, 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 blah. I'll be back. All right, we are going to go here with this armor one. We're getting tenacity, two speed, some crit chance and some potency. I'd like the speed to be a little bit higher, but that crit chance and the potency bump is huge. We're getting some armor and some extra tenacity for a little bit of survivability. So we're gonna go with that one. So essentially now our crit chance runes are out. Now that one, if we can't find a good potency rune, I can come back and swap that because there are a couple other good potency options out there. So with that, that's how we're gonna do that. For the southern rune, we will be looking for damage, or you could be putting a crit chance primary in here. So it depends on which one gives us the better secondaries. I'll be back. All right, so not a very big fan of this rune, but it is what it is. And we are going to put a 7% more crit chance on him with some health, two speed, armor, and damage. For here, we are looking for health primary to benefit from that kinley lead all right so we found a health primary gives us some shield for more survivability we have speed of three some damage flat stat and some potency we will take it and then here we could look for potency or damage out of here but um where i think we sit right now potency is probably the best bet so i'll be back all right so i ended up making a swap and up in the northwestern room, because that's where we were, I found a crit chance, potency, six speed, health, armor, and then some damage. Pretty happy with that. So I went down here and I switched to a two speed, shield, damage, and then health of 375. So let's go take a look at his stats. Obviously, we lost physical damage, and that's okay because he's not our main damage dealer. Because I had a damage set on him, right? So I'm okay with over 3k. But his crit chance is 40 over 40 percent we got his health up to 24,000. his physical armor 40 percent magic armor only 34 percent shield 21,000. speed to 159 i'm okay with that potency though 85 percent 
brought down his tenacity 2%, but look at that potency. So if, if you're not that concerned about slow, you could put a damage crit chance set on him. But what I'm trying to accomplish here is he's going to be kind of a little bit of a damage dealer, turn meter manipulation kind of character in this build. So that's where we're at here. Next one up is Rin, right? Rin is going to be our primary damage dealer. Gains invisible, 40% chance for each living allied panda defender and warrior. So we have two warriors, right? With Shaolin and Master Duo. And then we have one defender. So we're giving ourselves an extra 60% chance. So essentially she has a 100% chance to be gaining invisible. And that's why this comp works so well. And then she increases her physical damage by 35%. So that is huge, huge. That can, that can save us from not putting on a damage set onto this character. We gain counterattack and a damage increase. So again, she's filling our turn meter. We're getting more damage. We're getting some counterattack. She's going to be invisible. You know how I feel about the counterattack. But we're, again, we're seeing a damage increase. So again, we can steer clear of the damage runes. Here, deals 150 to all enemies. If this ability kills an enemy, cools down, instantly reset, and recover 50% of turn meter. So we want her to hit and hit hard she's giving herself 35 percent more damage she's going to have the physical damage increase potentially fantastic and she attacks three enemies dealing 100 percent physical damage so what do we want out of rin the unseen we want speed we want her to go fast and often to stay under that invisibility right we want crit chance so she's recovering her health we're looking for health we are looking for crit damage possibly in that southern rune we'll play around with that for a little bit she does not need potency she needs speed damage crit chance and that's how and health and that's how we're going to build her so what i have here is the way i'm going to keep keep ruining her with the crit chance increase we are going to um, try to get her a little crit damage in there and um, we're going to keep that health on so I will be back okay I'm back and we are going to give her this rune because it has 11 speed and this is going to benefit us so so much we're going to put on damage we got some shield for survivability we got a percent bump in health we have sp speed with a little more damage the only thing is if this was like a crit chance that'd be awesome but this 11 speed is going to let us play with our other runes a lot lot more now in the northeastern rune of course we are just looking for a speed primary so i'll be right back all right so we're actually going to keep on the one we have because even though the potency hit twice we're getting more damage bump we're getting health and it's a little bit of tenacity now if for some reason this we we find a better health rune someplace else this is the one i'll be subletting in with the armor shield damage and again we see potency hitting twice but it is what it is so that is where we're going to lie with that one obviously we have the armor here and we are going to stick with armor and i'll be right back all right so this is what i went with here i got a flat damage of 21 speed of six damage of 1.51 percent and then some tenacity now here this is where it can get a little bit tricky you could put more crit chance in here you could put crit damage in here or you could put damage so really what gives us the better secondaries okay i made a change i went with that speed critical chance rune we talked about earlier and then i went with a crit damage with some health some shield some speed and some health here we're going to be looking for a health primary so i'll be back all right so this is the one i'm going to be looking at and i wasn't too concerned because we had that 11 speed in here already so i law that you know i'm not really replacing any speed here but we have the crit chance of 2.4 percent we have damage of 0.53 percent we have health flat and we have some shield pretty good rune i'm pretty happy with that and then for this rune i'm gonna go straight damage here all right so, so we are back and i have damage some speed potency whatever i wish that was crit chance some more damage and some armor for survivability so let's check out her stats we have her physical damage up to almost 4k pretty happy with that but keep in mind she's going to get all those buffs right critical chance almost 50 percent crit chance take it 
we've got her crit damage up. Now you could get rid of this crit damage rune down here, right? You could do that to get that crit chance above 50% if you wanted to. Health, 32,000. And shield, 26,000. Physical armor, both above 36%. Speed, 209. Potency, we don't care about. And tenacity, 31. I'm fine with that. Next up, we have Shaolin. So let's take a look at Shaolin. Shaolin is dealing more damage for the more health he has. Okay? So the more healthy pool he has, which is going to increase by 30%, when he gets hit, he's still going to have more health than if we don't worry about health with him. So let's keep that in mind. Seven random targets, physical damage. Then he recovers 30% turn meter, two stacks of regeneration. Now regeneration feeds off of your health. Gains one more stack of regeneration for self-control. At least I think. Health. Where's my buddy shaking me in his infographics? Regeneration gains 10% of their max health at the start of their turn. And then he's going to get that self-control. So... Again, not our biggest damage dealer in the world, and then he's recovering health if the target's health is above 50%. So we're going to focus on damage, health with this guy. We don't need potency. We're going to go crit chance, okay, and hope for the best. All right, so we went damage primary. We have some health, speed, shield, for survivability, and some crit chance. Obviously, here we're going to be looking straight speed health, crit damage, damage, blah, 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 in the secondaries. All right, so we got speed, potency hit twice. We don't need it, but we got some damage in there. We got some health and some tenacity, so we're going to go with that one. Here, armor, same thing. I will be back. Okay, we got crit chance of 2.27%. We have some shield, damage, and speed. Next one here, you could go damage here. You could go health if you wanted to because he is extremely squishy you could go also you could go um damage health crit chance there it is okay so here i'm going damage i couldn't find a crit chance one i liked so that's going to kind of hurt us but he's going to be constantly going with the putting up regenerations putting up that um awareness Whatever it's called there, can't think of it right now. But it is 8 speed, got some health and some damage. So we're going to go with that one. Here, we're looking for a health primary. Alright, for this one, we went with health. Crit chance hit twice. We have health, damage, and armor. We're giving up some speed, but I'm okay with that. And we have another choice in the health, so these two are interchangeable. And here, we're going to look for a damage primary. You could also go health if you're worried about survivability. All right, I made some changes. I went with the damage, speed, tenacity, armor, and health. And then down here, I put crit damage with critical chance, health, speed, and more health. So I made those changes and I think we're okay. So let's go take a look at his stats. All right, so we got his physical damage almost to 3,900. Crit chance is at 31%. Almost a one in three, we got a little crit damage on him. Health and shield combination, we got him over 51k, 52k, that's awesome. 40% physical damage armor, 32% magic armor, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Speed, 179, added 45, and potency we don't care about, tenacity, we got up to 35%. So, hey everybody, as I was going through and editing this video, Patriarch Cheese audio just like cut out completely. So I just want to make sure I am ruining and going over that with you like I did with everybody else for Patriarch Chi. And, you know, what we got to understand about Patriarch Chi is he's applying shield and he heals all allies by 25% of that shield. Or heals that ally by 25% of that shield. Ally with the fullest health gains 15% or with full health gains 15%. So he's he is healing and restoring their health and shield. On his third third ability here, he gets its tenacity increase and applies it to four allies. Now, we're running a whole order team, so we gain a tenacity increase in self-control for two turns. So we're seeing that buff being put on, so we're regenerating health. So that is huge. 
Then he gives an ally a shield equal to 700% of Patriarchy's magic damage, removes two buffs from an ally. So he's dispelling, so he's giving a shield off of his magic damage. So we're seeing health and magic damage. And then he just does magic damage. And then he gives Kinley and a random ally shield equal to 25% of the damage. So you could go damage set, you could go um, speed, health, crit chance if you wanted to really but what you're really looking for here is speed you want him to go off and you want him to be able to dispel you want him to be able to do those things and put up that self-control and so you're i went with a speed and health set and you're looking for damage speed crit chance and health in the primaries just like everybody else and to go over his runes real quick we went with a damage and a speed health shield tenacity we went with the speed, armor, shield, crit chance, and tenacity. We went with armor, damage, health, speed, and armor. Here we went with health. You could put damage here, but I really wanted to make sure he survived. So I went with health, speed, shield, crit chance, and damage. And then I went with a health primary here. Damage, shield, speed, and damage. Then here we went with damage. I split them up to damage and health. You could go health here as well, but I went with damage, health, shield, armor, and tenacity. I really wish that tenacity got broke up and it was speed, but it's a good survivability rune and we really don't want him to drop. So let's go take a look at his stats here. So for his stats, we got his magic armor up to 3284, which isn't bad. Crit chance at 26%, but we weren't extremely focused on that. Health, we got up to 36,000. Shield, almost 29k. Speed 188, and we could probably get better than that because I had a couple of runes without speed secondary, so you could probably get him close to 200. And tenacity just a little bit under 40%. Sorry about the goof up, but there it is, and I hope this is helping everybody out. We got our team built out, so let's take them in and see how they roll. Alright, so we're going to jump into the Bay Yi Z Nai Hao Champions, and this will be a pretty good judge for us. So we're going to start with the Kin Lee lead. We are going to go with Patriarch Chi. We have Rin the Unseen. We have Shaolin and Master Duo. Let's see how we do. Now in this build, we went for survivability, sustain. Battles aren't going to be crushing, but we should be able to outlast the opponent, which is why I believe this makes them a good defensive team, because you do have a lot of sustain on this team. We're taking on Pride. So we are going to gain counterattack and a damage increase. Give myself 50% turn meter. She gains invisible. Perfect. Okay, next move up, we have meditation. Gains a tenacity increase. And then we get self-control. So let's do that. Look at all that health that we would have recovered. Let's take this down to two so you can see it a little better. Now here we have triple serving, right? where we recover 30% turn meter and gain regeneration. We're not going to use that yet. We're going to save that for now. And we're going to go over to Keggy. 18k. Perfect. Now, we're going to go to Martial Knowledge, right? We're going to cover our health and some turn meter. Boom. Uh, Phantom Blades I don't think is going to kill anybody, but we're just going to see the damage we can do pretty solid the steel shells going up that could possibly hurt us good counter attack all right let's get our taunt up with kim lee resisted so that's awesome here we give we're going to turn this down to one and see how the healing goes there we go got him back up to full shield now we're going to do our aoe perfect Put a slow on increase that health all the way back to full she's gonna come through with her we took out keggy now here we're gonna use this one let's see how we do pretty solid it would have been a lot better if you didn't have steel shell up so here we are gaining shield equal to the damage dealt so let's watch that shield 1400 shield back we're gonna get rid of Hera 
decrease the turn meter. Oh, we didn't get rid of her yet. Here comes the taunt. This is where we're gonna get stuck. I think we'll still be okay. Steel shell. There goes the feathers. Okay, we'll go with the mini AoE here. Keeping her invisible, so that's a plus. Now we're gonna put this on. Recover some turn meter and some health. Let's get some more buffs. Let's get some more buffs. Armor increase, possibly. Nope. All right, let's use this and see how we do. Not enough crit on her, I don't think. Let's go for everybody. Beautiful. Oh, counters the invisible. That was pretty sweet. Ooh, hang on. Let's put the shield back on him. He does have counter. Okay, we got hair out of there. Oh, we lost Shaolin. That's right, let's get our taunt up. Let's get Boris out of here. We got Roxy gone. Let's get that invisible back up. How did she not get invisible? That doesn't make any sense. Get some shield to Kin Me. Duo is pumping out some damage. Now we are stuck behind this because they don't have any dispel. Get our tone up. Put some shield back on. Go for the AoE. So like I said, it's it's not, we're not out here to win races. This is a sustained team. So let's put that damage increase back on and we can speed this up. We don't need health. This is why I believe this team would be very solid for defense. Now you could pick away and they're not as smart obviously as a player, but the thing is, that they just keep regening their health. I mean, look at this. And there we go, beat the first round. Like I said, not a not a big so there it is my youtube family there is the kin lee team with health now now you can go back and tweak you know i i want a little bit more damage on rin and i want more crit chance on rin shaolin's performing very nicely patriarch chi maybe speed him up a touch 
Master Duo is performing nicely. Kinley is survivable. So we're going to put some more damage on Rin to crank up the damage on the team. And then feed that turn meter to get Kinley's taunt up. Patriarch Chi just a little bit faster to cycle through his rotation a little bit more. Maybe even possibly put him in a speed set. Or, yeah, we got him in a speed set. You know, maybe find a, ways to get him a little bit more speed. Like, make sure every single one of those has speed secondaries. Pretty much as high as we could get him. Like, we could improve that. We can improve this. Definitely improve that one. And go from there. Now, we also don't have artifacts on any of these characters. And that's going to make a big difference. But just one battle so you could see it. This video's gone on long enough. So hopefully this helps somebody out so you can see the mechanics behind it. Kind of how I theory craft teams and characters. So if you're just finding me for the first time and you're liking what you're seeing, click that subscribe button. Join the XMG family. And for all of my XMG family members out there, you know I love you. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.